AR here. Hope you all are having a great evening. Sunny here on the East Coast. Here we are. We're going to take a look. Uh, Arrow sent me uh, the shims. Sent me my new barrel nut today. And I redid this. Something I want to say on this lockup system. If you don't have your... Uh, your barrel nut has little lines running through it. You're supposed to clock that with your... Uh, get, uh, your uh, gas tube okay if it's not clocked I noticed what will happen you'll see excuse me got to my pointer the wrong way you'll see this here will barely go flush and barely go flush here this here actually clamps on to the little lugs around this and when you got it time right it'll lock into those little lugs and uh, not only pull this tight, it'll pull these two into the lugs on the barrel nut. And if you'll notice, we'll raise it right here. You can see that it's below flush, both sides. That was not so. And it's also right here. You'll see that it's very centered. Typically, you will not see that if it's not time right. Uh, how do I know? Because I did it several times. I put this on, installed it, had it right. It was like this. I uh, didn't want to use that many shims, so I pulled it off, ordered some uh, shims from my Arrow. They told me I had probably had a bad barrel nut, too, because it wasn't uh, clocking and timing right. Okay. Now, when we do it th today, boy, it snugs in just right. Everything looks good, and... I was just wanting to do this uh, quick overview and let you know all about this. Make sure that you have that like that. If it's off-centered, it ain't right. That little clicker should be in the center of that wheel. Both of those should be countersunk. And there you are. You have a perfectly torqued and lined up barrel nut. If you like the content, please sub. Feel free to comment. Discuss it. Ask me any questions. Catch you on the next one.